All right, here we go. Hey, sorry, I didn't update that yet based on our conversation. Uh, that's going to be updated, though, next week. Okay, that's all right. I, I'm never really watching those. I'm always shuffling my papers. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like uh, uh, like David Letterman and those guys, you know, with my papers or Saturday Night Live, the news, getting my papers together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, All right, what we got? What we have here, the pick three. All right, so I'll run down the books, and uh, I had trouble this week. Once again, it seems like I hit seven and then brick wall, and it's difficult to pick some more. Um, but I ended up not enlisting Marcus this week. Um, I was late getting it all together. So we have Iron Man 23, Alex Ross, Young Hellboy 2, Matthew Smith, King Spawn 4, the B cover by Thomas Nacklick. Batman vs. Robin, 1B, Joshua Middleton. Sergeant Werewolf, number one. And I ordered this book. I can't wait to read it. <laughs> By Rich, Rich Woodall. Flash, The Fastest Man Alive, 1B, Juan Ferreria. For Ferreira. Like, uh, <laughs> that's a tough one. Spider Punk 5, Takashi Akazaki. These are so hard. Uh, Jurassic League 5, Daniel Warren Johnson, Lady Shadowhawk 3, 3D, I guess his book's in three-dimensional, uh, Jim Valentino and Philip Tan, and Mr. Easta by Kit Wallace. I have never heard of or seen Mr. Easta before, but that looks crazy. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I think uh, Johnny and I had a, a real short conversation about uh, The Last Shadowhawk and whether Jim Valentino did all that or Philip Tan kind of had a hand in that looking so awesome. Yeah. And I think Philip Tan did. <laughs> so if they're both on there. I, I assume that Philip did the inks. Um, Cause it, yeah, it looks really great. Yeah. So here we go. And these were, yeah, these were, there was, it was a, a, a small grouping where, you know, of, let's see, one, two, three, yeah, like four books got a lot of the votes. All right. And, whoops, I almost did it back. Oh, no, I am doing it the right way. <laughs> I thought I was going to do it backwards. Oh, Alex right. Ross, number three. He always places, but uh, usually he's number one. But Alex, that cover is just too dark for me. I, I do think a lot's lost. It, I think probably the the physical copy when we get it, it'll look great. Um, but yeah, with a black background, it just gets lost in everything. Yeah. So that received seven votes. That was really good. And uh, we actually had a tie for first. So uh, both of these books received eight votes, but the tiebreaker is what decided the number two book. Okay. Wow. I have Batman versus Robin, Joshua Middleton. I figured that one would have won. That's a great cover. I love yeah. It. Yeah, I thought this one was going to be number one. I'm, I mean, at the end of the day, I wasn't surprised at what number one was. And I don't think you guys will be either. I'm definitely going to grab this one because uh, I kept saying Batman and, and Robin for like when I was ever I was talking to everybody about it, but it's Batman versus Robin. I'm like, huh? Yeah. yeah. Really? Should there be a Batman versus Robin? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I want this one. And it's the cardstock cover, so it's going to have a nice gloss to it and everything. This thing's going to look really good. Yeah, Zatanna's like a way underrated character too, man. She is awesome. Yeah. I don't get this outfit or this cover. <laughs> I'm the, downer. I'm the downer on this one. She, she's got her fishnets on the wrong parts of her body here. What's going on, man? 
She's got her fishnets on the wrong parts of her body. They're on her arms. I can't see the light. Okay. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't look at that. I was, uh, yeah. I like Josh Middleton a lot, but I do not like this cover at all. Huh. On that note. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me see. Let me see if uh, Patrick voted for. Oh, I, oh, that paper's downstairs. Anyway, number one. <laughs> Jeez. Flash, fastest man alive. What, Pat? What? I do what not like this cover at all, either. <laughs> this is one of those Flash covers like I feel like I've seen a million times. Yeah. Plus, it looks like he's throwing a package of hot dogs at you. <laughs> I hate it now. <laughs> That's true, actually. What's with those squared-off knuckles? I don't get that. Those are is he wearing some kind of armored glove or something? Are those his fingertips? Could be. I don't know. I took it as his fingertips, like cutting through the air. Yeah, man, I didn't even. I'm gonna look at that closer here. Yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> and our next segment, Patrick. Yeah, I didn't. Even, I didn't even look at that one. <laughs> and you know, when I first saw this too, I thought his arm in the back was his leg and his foot. You know, like, jeez, <laughs> that's what I originally thought. And I was like, oh wait, that's yeah. his arm and his hand. Yeah, I hate this cover now too. <laughs> his his head is so egg shaped. Also on this cover, I just I don't know. No you know one, one people, come on! The I ordered four. five copies of this cover because it's so awesome. <laughs> his uh, alignment and proportion of his shoulders is off too. I mean, if you look at how his left arm is obviously coming at us, and how that would make his sh for his hand to be like that and his arm to be like that, where his shoulder is. Now, where his other shoulder has to be for his other arm to be completely behind him, it's like not right. Yeah, this yeah. is horrible cover. <laughs> All three of them terrible. I see, I love that Alex Ross cover. I think that's really man. I I I, I love the darkness of that with the 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 Mandarin rings lighting up, and it looks like it, 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 you you guys take this as an homage to the Green Lantern cover. Uh, no. uh, I know. I'm not wearing all the rings. I'm not familiar with. Oh, oh, vaguely, yeah. I wonder. I have to go back and compare the two. <laughs> anyway, uh, but once again, great segment, Mike. I think you have the numbers that, back. So that's a new segment. That again. <laughs> What's that? Oh, I think you have the numbers reversed. So it should be See, your, your your instinct was right when you started. You said you were going to show them in the opposite order, and I think you were right. <laughs> yep. All right. You hey, know what? You... Cora didn't vote this week because she was sleeping. What do you think here? <laughs> well, yeah, it's hard to see that cover. What do you think of this one? I can really see it. How about this one? I don't like that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with Cora's vote, <clears throat> Zatanna... Batman versus Robin is actually first place. So, what do you think? Let me make the screen larger. What do you think? That oh, one? thank you, because I can see. Um, that one is nice. I like that one. You like that one, All right? Hey, put up the ten again, real quick. Um, oh, hold on. Let me get back there over there. Whoops. Hold on. All right. So that, yeah. Boom. Yeah, I don't like the flash one. That one just sits out too much. I'm like, mm -mm. Okay. Yeah, I think that King Spawn should have been in the top three. You know? A lot of uh, crotch shots. Well, King Spawn actually had five. <laughs> oh, yeah. Holy Spawn, Zatanna, Sergeant Were Sergeant Werewolf got six votes. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. That there, was there was a crap. variant for that, but I think it was a one in 50, and it actually... The, the werewolf was real similar to uh, American Werewolf in London. But it's a 1 in 50, and I don't use ratios yeah. for this. You know what, actually, I'm going to say this, uh, Mike, and not to throw you under the bus here at all, but I'm going to do it a little bit. Um, okay. Maybe it's your fault because you, we got these out late, and everybody rushed their choices. Maybe that's what it was. 
would have been a completely will, different. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I will refuse to accept responsibility for everybody's poor choices. <laughs> well, I'm going to accept the responsibility for my families because uh, with me doing whatnot all weekend, I didn't even ask them until this morning or remind them, I should say. Yeah. And uh, I may have rushed them, which so could have been completely different had, had people not been rushed. So I'll take uh, the brunt of that. So, all right. Nevertheless, though, I love seeing the 10 covers. <laughs> I would like uh, uh, if, if, we can, if Johnny can ever <clears throat> find time to come on here, I, a, a segment for him would be Johnny can, because he's, he's, I think he's pretty good at, you know, uh, covers, talking about covers and, and kind of pointing out the good and the bad on them. Yeah. Tom's like that too. Tom's like that too. Yeah. I think Patrick's pretty good at it too. He was, <laughs> <laughs> but Patrick's plate is already full. Pointing out the bad, I should I should be more positive and point out the good. <laughs> yeah. Well, if we if we uh, never pick any of your uh, favorite covers, you never have the opportunity to. <laughs> I love the red. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that is good red and yellow. It looks fast. <laughs> You're right. All right. Okay, are we ready to move on? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs>